Palmer's Town USA was based on Alex's uh, childhood. He wanted to tell the story of, of his childhood in which he had a, uh, I think it covered from eight to 11 years of age. Maybe, maybe say yeah, from eight years to 11 to 12. And the basic storyline, the story arc was to be about Alex had a, his best friend was in, growing up in Henny, Tennessee, was a young white boy that was the same age. They were, they, they were neighbors maybe half a mile apart, but they did everything together. They were best friends. And it just showed that in, you know, that in spite of the racial politics in, in, the, in that community, how these two boys were friends. Their friendship knew no color and was able to transcend color. And their families also were, you know, weren't that close, but they, at least they, 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 they respected their friendship. And the story would have, and the series would have come to an end, or at least taken on a different dimension. Because what happened in real life, Alex tells a story, was that when the boy, when the, one day when he was 12 years old and, and his friend was 12, his friend came to the door and said, I can't play with you anymore. My father says it's time for you to know your place and for me to know my place. But it was, that was, would have been the conclusion had the series stayed on mm -hmm. uh, about the, you know, about the, uh, relationship between these two families. But that's what's inspired it, and that's what the story was based on. Yeah, so it was, uh, but it allowed Alex and I to work together. We, during that period of time, he was developing a miniseries uh, on Madam C.J. Walker, uh, the first millionaire, female millionaire, black or white, in this country. And, uh, you know, Alex is very detailed. I mean, Alex is, he's, he's, a, he's a, just a writing, you know, he's a genius when it comes to writing, but he, He's a writer that you have. To, in fact, if Alex was left to his own devices, he'd still be, he probably, Ruth would have never been made. The editor had to take it away from him because it had been 12 years. And the same with Madam C.J. Walker. He kept the detail, the research. We would have conferences at his, uh, far, at his, at his home in Henny, Tennessee, where he would lay out these en enormous uh, uh, storyboards about and her journey. And we would say, well, Alex, but where's the book? Where's the book? We, we, we get the research, we get the detail, like maybe five years research, five years writing. So that project was never done, but uh, we spent a lot of time talking about it.